Hey everybody, Justin here with Ultra Bright Lights. I'm going to show you a quantum stick and some of the different functionality that you can do with it. Now a quantum stick comes with 10 different inputs that are set up through the wiring harness that's attached to the quantum stick. But what can you do with each of those 10 different inputs? Well, let me show you some options. Let's set input one to be flashing. Now I have this unlocked to be a quad stick, so I have access to all four colors and I could set this from any one of the flash patterns that are available. I'm going to choose cluster. I can also program different brightness. So maybe on one input I want daytime full brightness and maybe on another mode I might want 50 or 10 percent brightness for nighttime responding. So for now I'm going to set input one to be 100 percent. And uh, down here I can select the module preference. I can do all or single. So if I select all it allows me to program all the modules to be one color. If I select single, it allows me to individually set the colors for each mode. And again, since this is a quad stick, I could do all four colors if I wanted. But for now, I'm just going to do two. So that's my input number one. Now, for input number two, let's choose a different mode. Maybe we're going to choose tail signal. Now, when you select certain modes, it's going to lock out other options because tail signal doesn't have a flash pattern option. There's, of course, no more flash pattern available. Now, for this one, I'm going to go back to setting it as all. I'm going to make those all red. Now, input three, let's do cruise signal. Again, there's no patterns available for that, but I can do 50% brightness and I'll set those all to be white. Maybe input four, I can also select break. Uh, I could do floodlight and alley, so maybe I want an all white flood bar. Now notice here, flood is just only available on 100% brightness, so all those options are gone. Let's go ahead and move on to input number five. Now maybe if I was putting this on the back of a UTV, I might want some turn signal options. Um, so let's say we'll do that at 50% brightness. Don't want my turn function to be uh, too bright. Now this is going to be my left turn signal. So I'm going to select a um, single module down here. And I only want this one to activate amber. And then for mode six, I'm going to do turn signal again. 50% brightness, single mode, but I'm going to do the left blinker. Now I just set up some blinkers. Now I'm on to input number seven, and maybe for that one I want my directional pattern. So for directional, there's a whole host of options. Again, if you were to upgrade a quantum stick to a uh, utilize a quad converter, you would have 28 inputs. So maybe you really want to go crazy and you want all of the features and functionality. You would have 28 options, so you could set a left slow, you can do a left fast, and then even a left combo. Uh, maybe for each input if you wanted. Not sure why, but the option is there if you needed. So we do right input. Let's do 100% brightness, and I'm going to set those all amber. All right. So for uh, mode number eight, let's do that as my brake light. I have two different options for my brake. Do brake pop, do those at 10% brightness, and now it's a brake light, so the only option that is available is red. However, if I toggle this to single, maybe I don't want all these modules to be um, red. I can just set the two outers to be red. So that's input number eight. Now, last option is to program it. While this is programming, you would want to jump over into the instruction manual to go ahead and look at which one of these inputs corresponds to which color wire on the stick. So let me go ahead and unplug my USB. And I just have one additional wire over here uh, that provides me power. So I'm going to go ahead and connect that to my blue. So this is now my half red amber and half red blue that I programmed for input number one. So maybe that's my daytime 100% brightness um, responding. Input number two was orange. Now it is tricky. Some of these have stripes in them, so you just got to be careful and make sure you're selecting the right orange. If I'm not mistaken, I think that was my tail light. Now brown is going to be my input number three. I think forgot what I programmed this as, but that's a uh, looks like a, a uh, dimmer white. Um, input number four is my gray wire. That was my white flood um, at 100% brightness. Yellow is going to be input number five. 
Now that's going to be my left blinker. So now, like I said before, if you wanted to connect this to maybe a UTV or something of the sort, um, you could connect that to the blinker functionality of the vehicle. And now when you hit the blinker, it would go ahead and toggle it and provide power on and off utilizing the internals of the UTV. Um, just to be clear, I'm doing that. The bar does not do that itself. So uh, utilize the internal relay of the vehicle um, and that would allow you to give you a, a left blinker. And I believe input number on violet wire is this one here. That was my other blinker right, left, depending upon which direction we mount this. Same thing, I'm just tapping the wire on and off to simulate what your vehicle would do uh, to that. And orange and white would be my last one. Let's see here. So that could be my uh, taillight if I wanted. Again, so you can see how you can pr uh, turn different modules on or off if you don't want them. Uh, maybe for whatever reason, I only want the two outer ones. It kind of looks actually pretty cool. So that would be, again, a great way to mount the light stick on the back of your TV. I mean, you can even mount this on the back of your vehicle. Just keep in mind, uh, these modules aren't DOT rated, so probably not the best idea to use these as running lights or uh, turn signals. But if it's a UTV, ATV, something like that, golf cart, um, really cool way to get some additional functionality, additional lighting on the rear or even the front of the vehicle. So um, again, there's 10 inputs built right in with the wiring harness that comes with the stick. Upgrade it all the way to 28 using a quad converter, and you can set all of those different features and functionality. Um, the sky is the limit. You're only limited by your creativity, honestly. So um, that's how a quantum works and some of the inputs and features and why you need so many inputs. And that's all done very easily with the free quantum software. If you have any other questions, feel free to drop a comment below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.